I go to YouTube. I'm Max, and this is the next video of a three part mini series. At first, I opened Invasion of Chaos for the Dual Monsters era. Now, I'm going to open Force of the Breaker for the GX era. I have six packs here. I took them out of Force of the Breaker special editions, so anything can happen in here. That's what um, earlier openings of the set uh, or of packs from that specific product told me. So, um, let's see. I think it's been a while since I pulled an Ultimate Rare out of here, so um, why not pull one today? Crystal Beast, Emerald Tortoise. Crystal Bacon, nom nom nom. Gem Flash Energy. Breakthrough. And, ah, Solar Fire. Uh, that's a super rare that I pulled already. Um, not a spectacular one, but um, okay. That's one holo. I can expect to pull one to two. So I hope if I get another one, that's going to be a banger. Field Barrier is a good common. And of course, I hope to pull some um, Warrior of Atlantis rares or Volcanic Scattershot commons in here, which are also nice value. Pack number two. These open way nicer than the Invasion of Chaos ones. Magna Slash Dragon. Blaze Accelerator for Volcanics. Mass Hypnosis. And Go Go the Gallant Ninja. Oh, we continue upside down. Backs to the wall. A Cell Breeding Device. Volcanic Camera, not Scattershot, unfortunately. And Terrible Deal. That poor guy <laughs> got ripped off by Skull Servant by the looks of it. I like Skull Servant here. He has kind of a trolley face. If that's even possible for a skull to have a trolley expression. Pack number three. Last resort, I'm not going to sing. Crystal Beast Amber Mammoth. Crystal Abundance. Heart Cell and Goblin. <laughs> yeah, geil. That's another Ultimate Rare Riser, the Storm Monarch. Um, the last opening where I opened Force of the Breaker was, I think, the first one ever that I didn't pull a Riser. Uh, not in Super Rare, not in uh, Ultimate Rare. And now this is my second Ulti Riser. I'm of course very pleased with that. So um, yeah, that's sick. <laughs> Definitely going to take this. Oh, I thought this was a uh, scattershot in the same pack. That would have been close to perfect. Nice. Ah, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm very happy. Riser was absent last time, and now he returned in his most beautiful form, you could argue. Another Emerald Tortoise. Another Bacon. Cobalt Eagle. Gem Flash Energy. And Lucky Iron Axe. Field Barrier again. Cool. Crystal Raigeki. Amethyst Cat, and backs to the wall again. I have two packs left and I'm already very happy, so anything uh, being pulled now is just a bonus. Oh no! First pack of this opening that I kind of destroyed. Hard Cell and Goblin again. It's not the zombie that has all the... Blah gross liquids flowing out of him. Let's call it like that. Crystal Beacon. Cobalt Eagle. Oh, there we go. Warrior of Atlantis. And Volcanic Scattershot. So, for not getting a holo in this pack, this is as good as it gets. Most likely. And as I said, they are just a bonus. 
Let's see if this pack can give me another bonus. Maybe double ulti? Hmm. Come on. <laughs> In German we would say, uh, ich kriege den Hals nicht voll. Uh, I don't know if a saying like that exists in English, but uh, I'm sure there is for someone who, yeah, who got lucky and then um, tries even more and then he fails. Hard cell and goblin again. Emerald tortoise again. It's a small set, so there will be <laughs> four crystal bacons. Multiple Cobalt Eagles, and this is Triggered Summon. Terrible Deal again, Dweller in the Deeps, and Volcanic Recharge. So, for the GX opening, I pulled an Ultimate Rare Riser, I pulled a Soul of Fire, and I did also pull a Scattershot, a Rare Warrior of Atlantis, and two Field Barriers, which I consider to be decent commons, even though Mystic Mine isn't around anymore. If it comes back someday, <laughs> Um, I'm sure they will be popular again. So um, yeah, happy with the opening. I hope you liked it. Uh, feel free to tell me what you think about it. And as always, thank you for watching and see you next time on Random Old School Yu-Gi-Oh! Bye bye!